Good morning, and thank you for stopping and watching my video this morning. Uh, my name is Lindsay Place, and I am the Assistant Director for the Athens County Public Libraries. And today I am going to show you um, the easiest way I know how to make a burlap wreath, um, much like the one that is behind me right here. Um, I'm just going to show you how to make this part right here. Um, the easiest and cheapest way that I know how because I am very frugal in that way. <laughs> um, and then I'll just show you um, some of the other wreaths that I have made so that you can kind of get some creative ideas flowing. Um, so I will show you all the things that you um, need to get and I'll give you some ideas of where you can get those materials. And let's just go ahead and get started. So for this project, I'm only going to use one roll of burlap and I'm also going to use a medium sized ring. So your rings you can find at any of your floral stores. You can find them at any of your craft stores. You can find them at Walmart. Um, you can even try to find them at some of your local dollar stores. Um, your burlap um, is at your craft stores and it's usually around the four dollar mark but definitely get online and see if you can find a coupon because you can usually use your coupons on the burlap. Um, the burlap that I'm using is about an inch to an inch and a half wide and you can see that it's pretty tightly bound so I'm pretty easily I'm going to make my wreath pretty loose. Um, that's going to make for a fluffier wreath. Um, you can make a tighter wreath and the tighter you go, the more rolls of burlap that you're going to want to purchase. Okay, so let's start our wreath. So we're going to take our burlap and it doesn't matter that this is crinkled right here. We're just going to fold over this side. Then we are going to take our wire and we are going to take it dome side up. And we're going to slide this part onto the right side of this wire. And we're going to kind of squeeze this together. And here's a trick that I have found out. You're gonna have this little tail here too and make sure that this doesn't pop up through. So a little trick that I have found out, you'll see in other videos where they twist and then push their next one through. I have found that twisting makes me use more burlap. So I do not twist, that way I save on my burlap. So you're going to make another loop and you're going to push it through. And you're going to want these two loops to be about the same size. And again, you're going to squeeze it to the side. And you're going to do the same thing with the next side. Okay, so we have our first line. So. Next, we're coming back down. So this is what it looks like. I'm just coming straight back down. And I'm going back up. Whoop, sorry about that. Making a loop. back up the middle one and you want to see that I'm bunching them in my left hand as I go straight back down never twisting 
And don't worry about these falling out because once we get to the end, it's going to be tight enough that nothing's going to fall out on you. And you might have to pull it and untwist it. And just keep shoving it back up in there. So I've already got three lines, three columns. So I'm doing my fourth. Sorry about that. Hey. Mm -mm. Remy, no. Starting my fifth, and you can tell that it's getting tighter, so that's a good thing. That means that your wreath is going to start locking into place. So I think I'm going to leave it at five. So you can zhuzh a little bit. So that's what that one looks like. So you're gonna do five, 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 and five. All right, so I am going to keep continuing. I'm gonna finish this up and then I will show you how to end it at the very end. So you'll see here that I did run out of burlap because I did decide that I was going to go a little bit tighter. So I did get another roll and I'm going to show you how to connect the two. So if you decided to go a little bit tighter, that's fine. So what you're gonna do is you're going to just go ahead and start where your last one left off. So mine actually left off at the top, so that's fine. I'm gonna start this one back down on the bottom, just like we did at the very beginning. So just gonna start there at the bottom. And we'll just continue like we did in the beginning. So here is my finished wreath. I do have extra laying out here. 
And so what you are going to want to do is you're just going to want to flip this over, cut this part, the tail about right here, and then just tuck it right under your wire. So no glue, no fuss, and that's it. So that is the base. If you see any wire poking through, you can go through and you can easily pull and zhuzh and make it as fluffy as you want. But that is it for the base of your burlap wreath. So now I'll just show you some of the other wreaths that I have made, just so you can get some other ideas and see what types of things that you might want to make. So this wreath is a carrot that I made out of a triangular um, shaped wreath form. And it is basically the same principle. I just started out at the bottom and did the same method that we did with the circular wreath and just build it up and then transferred to the green at the top. You can easily switch back and forth with colors as well with your burlap. Um, so you can use two at the same time. You can even use three at the same time. I've done that as well. Um, and you can add signs to the top um, and add bows. So here's a wreath that has four inch wide burlap. And I added some flowers down here, just at the bottom. It's a real simple wreath. And I'll show you this burlap is very thick and it's a little bit harder to work with. Um, and it's not very easy to kind of pull and mold um, as the other burlap is that we were using earlier. But there are different widths and thicknesses that you can use and experiment with. Then we have this small wreath and we used the smaller burlap. And some of this actually has the wire in it, which makes it easier to mold as well. So it really just depends on what you're wanting to use and what you find and what your price range is. But also I found these from the dollar store and just played around with the look and you'll see that I used chevron and polka dots mixed in with this and then the last one that I will show you is it is a thicker burlap as well but it is not as wide and then I just went to like Dollar General or a store, something like that, and just got a harvest sign and got some of these. And then what I did is I just went and got some ribbon and just laced that through. So real simple. It looks like more went into it than what really did. So, and that's, I mean, that's the look that you're going for. So, there you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got some creative ideas. And hope you can start making your own. Thank you.